Yarnabees! How are you today? Today we are going to be making the Skipping Stones Leg Warmers. Yay! Okay, let's get started. What you're going to need is some four weight yarn. Okay, I'm going to be using the Bernat Premium from Walmart. And this color is medium gray heathered. And then I'm going to use the Impeccables. And this color is Tweed Brown. Which I don't understand because the Tweed is kind of black with a little bit of beige. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> Let's go with it. Okay. And then you're going to need a 6 or 6.5 millimeter hook and your usual scissors and darning needle and all that stuff. And you may need a tape measure. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what you're gonna do first is you're going to measure, oops, <laughs> as I crash everything here, you're going to measure the size of your, the thickest part of your calf. Okay, and, uh, and kind of get an idea of how wide your calf is okay I think mine is about 13 um, but I've figured out that I need about 40 chains so you're gonna figure out how wide your calf is and then chain that amount okay and try and keep it on an even number if you can okay so here we go so I'm going to grab my darkest color first, okay, and we're going to do our slip stitch and then chain that amount. So I'm going to chain, if you're going to follow along with me, I'm going to chain 40. Oops. Okay. So I'll meet you when you have your amount. Okay, so I've got my chain of 40. I'm going to bring you in a little bit here. Oops. Okay, oh, that might be too much. Okay, so you're going to run your finger down your chain to make sure that it's not twisted. Okay. Then you're going to bring your hook around and you're going to put your hook into that first chain. and slip stitch to join. Okay, then you're going to chain up two. You're going to do one double crochet in each chain around. Okay. So do one double crochet in each chain around. And this first chain, this first chain up is going to count. So you're going to want to have an even amount of, of double crochets all the way around. Okay, I'll see you when you get there. Okay, when you make it all the way around, you should have 40 stitches. You're going to um, Attach your yarn to the first chain with a slip stitch. Chain up two. Now we're going to do front posts and back posts. Skip this, this chain here. Go to your next one. Put your hook underneath the first, um, first double crochet. Yarn over. Pull your yarn through. Pull it up. And finish your double crochet. Yarn over, go to the next stitch, go underneath, and over top of that stitch. Pull your yarn through, and finish your double crochet. Next one's a front post. Put your yarn down underneath that stitch. Pull your yarn through, and finish your double crochet. 
back post, put your hook underneath, put it over top of that stitch, pull your yarn through, and double crochet. Okay, you're going to do that all the way around. And you should, at the end, you should land on a front post. Okay, I'll see you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end and I've ended on a front post. So now you're going to go up to your first chain and you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain. You're going to chain up two. And then you're going to do another round of these. Okay, so your front post, you do front post. Oops, <laughs> let's try that again. And then your back post will be sunken in. You'll be able to tell the difference. Now bring your hook up and over. And finish your double crochet. Front post. Go to the back, go up underneath. Trying to do this looking through the camera, it's not working. And back post. And you're going to keep doing that all the way around. Okay, this is going to give your leg warmer like quite a bit of stretch and squishiness. Okay, so you keep going. All the way around and I will meet you at oops at the other side. Okay. And that's gonna be your cuff. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row. I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first chain. Okay chain and chain one. Okay, now we're going to do a single crochet all the way around. Okay, so just do one single crochet. You're going to want to put a uh, stitch marker in that starting chain there. Okay, and then do one single crochet each stitch around. Okay, you're going to do this for two rows. Okay, so you finish this one and then do another row of the same thing. Okay, So two rows, this one and another one, and I will meet you when you get back. Okay, so I'm finished my two rounds of single crochets. Now I ended up with 38 stitches. 38 or 40 is fine as long as it's an even number. Okay, all right, now you're going to change yarn. Oh. I gotta find my center pull here. There we go. Okay. Oop. Little bit of yarn barf here. Okay. So you're gonna attach your yarn by pulling it through. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to not my two yarns together, the, uh, the old working yarn and the new working yarn, I'm going to knot it together. You're not going to cut it. Okay, we are going to carry our yarn with us. Okay, all right, so what you're going to do, oops, you're going to grab your new yarn you're going to chain up two. Okay. 
going to have your working your old working yarn right here for a moment. Okay? You're going to go to your not this chain, but this one. Okay, yarn over. You're going to go in that in that stitch. You're going to do a double crochet. Chain 2. And then go back into that same stitch and do a double crochet. Okay, that's a V stitch. Now you're going to take your old working yarn, your darker color, and you're going to put it off to the side. Okay, so I put it on this side so you don't, it's not in your way. Okay, you're going to skip one stitch. You're going to go into the next stitch. You're going to do a double crochet. Chain two, go back into that stitch and do a double crochet. Okay, it's your second V stitch. Skip the next stitch, go into your next stitch, do a double crochet. Chain two, go back into that stitch, do a double crochet. Okay, you're going to do this all the way along. Skip one stitch, go into the next stitch, do a double crochet. Chain two, yarn over, go back into that stitch, and do a double crochet. Okay, skip one, go into the next, do a double, chain two, go back in, do a double. Okay, you're going to do that all the way along. Okay, and I will see you when you get to the end. Okay, so I'm at the end of this round. I've got one more to do. I've got to skip one. And do one more V stitch. And I have 19 V stitches. Yours may be different depending on the size. Okay. So now you're going to go to the top of that chain and you're going to slip stitch to join. Okay, now what you're going to do, oops, is you're going to grab your other yarn. Your darker yarn or whatever color you've got. You're going to pull it up. You're going to pull it through that loop. Pull your lighter yarn to tighten it a little bit and chain two. Then you're going to take this first this other yarn, this lighter yarn that I'm using, you're going to pull that off to the side. Oh, wait, no you're not. Not yet. Hang on. You have to lock it in first. You're going to take that lighter yarn. You're going to hold it until you do your first stitch. Okay, now we're going to do a bobble stitch. Okay, so you're going to yarn over, go through into the middle of that V. Pull up your yarn once. Yarn over, go back into that hole, pull your yarn up twice, yarn over, go back into that hole again, pull up, that's three times, and one more. Yarn over, go into that V-stitch, and pull up again. Okay, you should have one, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven, eight, nine chains, or nine uh, loops on your hook. Okay, pull it up and yarn over and pull through all of them. Okay, then you're going to yarn over to lock it in. Okay, now you're going to take this lighter yarn and you're going to pull it off to the side, off to this side. 
Okay. Now you're going to yarn over. You're going to do the same, the same thing into this V stitch. Okay, yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, go into that stitch again, pull up two, yarn over, go into that stitch again, pull up three, yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up four. Make sure you've got the right amount of loops. Yarn over and pull through all of them. Yarn over, lock it in. Okay, we'll do one more time. Yarn over, go into the V, pull up one, yarn over, go into the V again, pull up two, yarn over, go into the V again, pull up three, Yarn over, go into the V again, pull up four. Yarn over, pull through all of them. Now when you're doing these, don't do them tight because you're going to have a heck of a time trying to get your, your hook through all of these loops if you do. So just really, like when you put it in, like give it a good tug, okay? Not too loose. Like you don't want it way loose, but just... A little tug. Okay? Two, three, four. Pull through all of them and lock it in. Okay? And that's what it's going to start to look like. So do that all the way around through all of the V stitches and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm at the end. I've got one V stitch left. So I'm going to do my bobble in there. Okay, then you're going to go to the top of this stitch right here. And you're going to do your slip stitch. Okay. All right, now you're going to take your yarn. Your, oops, that's my tail. <laughs> okay, now take your darker yarn, put it to the front for a minute. Pick up your lighter yarn. You're going to put it through the loop. Take your darker yarn, pull to tighten. Okay. Now you're working with your lighter yarn. Okay, you're going to take your darker yarn, hold it against the stitches for the moment. You're going to chain up two. Okay, now you're going to go in between these baubles. You're going to do a V stitch. Okay, do your double crochet chain two, go back in, and do a double crochet. Okay, now you can take that darker yarn and you can pull it off to this side. To get it out of your way. Okay. I like to hold it in this hand so it's out of the way completely. Okay, yarn over, go in between your bobble stitches and do your double crochet, chain two, and go back in and do your double crochet. Okay, that gives you your V stitches in between your bobbles. Yarn over. Get this out of your way so I'm not getting all confused here. Do your double crochet. Chain two. Go back in. Double crochet. Okay. Yarn over. Go 
go in between, double crochet, chain two, go back in, do your double crochet. Okay? Oh, that's attached to the yarn. That's uh, one of those speckles. <laughs> Okay, so that's all you're going to do all the way around on this row. You're going to go in between all of your bobbles and do your V-stitches. Okay, and if all works out well, you should have 19 V-stitches again. Okay, so we'll see you at the other side. Okay, I'm at the end of this round. I have one more V-stitch to go. So you're going to go in between, like on this side of this bobble, not in here. You're going to go in here. You're going to finish your V-stitch. Okay. Okay. You're going to go to the top of this stitch or this chain. You're going to go in here. You're going to slip stitch. Okay. All right, now you're going to pick up your other yarn. You're going to bring your the yarn that you were just working with and put it along the side of your stitches here. You're going to pick up your other yarn. You're going to pull it through. You're going to take this yarn and tighten it. Okay? You're going to chain up two. Is still holding on to that yarn. You've got a V stitch right here. You're going to do your puff stitch into that stitch. Okay, go in, pull up one, yarn over, go back in, pull up two, yarn over, go back in, pull up three, yarn over, go back in, pull up four. Yarn over, pull through all. Chain one, or slip stitch to, to lock it in. Now you're going to take this yarn, you're going to pull it over to the side. So we aren't going to be using that again for a while. Okay, now you're going to do exactly the same thing that you did on this. You're going to go into each V and you're going to do your puff stitches. Okay. And this is going to be the repeat. These two rows are going to be the repeat for the remainder of this pattern. Okay. So you're just going to repeat these two rows over and over until you get it to the length that you want. Okay, now the nice thing about this is that you can make this either a boot cuff or you can make it a legging, okay? So you, for a boot cuff, you just go up a few for however long you want your boot cuff and then skip to the end of the video where we do this part over again, okay? Um, but if you are doing it the length of a uh, uh, leggings, I think I did um, 11 puff stitch rows. I believe it was 11 puff stitch or 11 bobble bobble puff stitch rows. Okay, uh, but you can do it as long as you want to, and then when you get to that point, come back and I will finish the video with you. Okay, everybody, we're on the home stretch. Okay, so what you're going to do once you've finished, you want to you wanna end it on a bobble stitch row. Okay. So you can have, if you're going by what I'm doing, you're going to have 11 bobble stitch rows or rounds. 
Okay, so you're going to knot your um, first yarn and second yarn together. Okay, and then you're going to cut the light, the, the V stitch round yarn. You're going to cut that one off. Okay, then, oops, bring in a little bit here. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to do two rounds of single crochet. All right. So you're going to take this yarn and hold it so that you weave it in at the same time. Okay. And you're going to go into the top of the bobble stitch. Okay. You're going to go in top, on top of there and pull it through and do a single crochet. And then you're going to put a stitch marker in there so that you know where you've finished. Okay, then you're going to go in the space and do a single crochet there. Whoops. Go on the top of the bobble stitch. In the space. <coughs> Excuse me. And you're just going to keep on doing this all the way around for two rounds. Some more yarn here. Okay, on top of the bobble stitch. Oops, getting caught up. Into the space. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, once you once you finish that, um, I will meet you when you get back. Okay. So I've done my two rounds, and with these two rounds, you should land on thirty-eight stitches. Okay. You want to have an even number, just like you did with the bottom cuff. Okay, so you're going to take out your stitch marker and, oops, George is phoning me. <laughs> you're going to slip stitch. You're going to chain up two. Okay, now you're going to start your front posts and back posts again. Or, uh, sorry, you're going to do your double crochet round and then your front posts and back posts. So all you're going to do is a double crochet round all the way around. Okay, so just do one double crochet all the way around. Okay, okay, so do that all the way around and I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, so I'm finished this round. Now you're going to slip stitch to the first double crochet or for to the first um, chain and then you're going to chain up two and then you're going to start with a front post okay remember how we did that go underneath pull your yarn through finish your double crochet go up under and over top pull through and do your double crochet. Okay, up under, or down under, I should say. <clears throat> up over. Down under. Up over. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna do that for two rounds. And then guess what? You're done. Now you have, then you'll have to make the other one. <laughs> okay, so I will do my two rounds and I will meet you back. Something I forgot to tell you is your, <clears throat> excuse me, these double crochets, you want it to land on 37 because this, this first chain counts as a stitch. So that's going to be your 38th or your, your first uh, 
double crochet. It's going to count. Okay, so you're going to have uh, 37 all the way around because that one is going to end up being your back post. Okay, I just wanted to um, to mention that because you're going to end your round on a front post. Okay? Okay. Okay, so you're going to fasten off and weave in your ends and guess what? You're done! Yay! Now you just have to make another one. Boo! <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, with the power of video, I have my second one. Here we go. And uh, there, you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, I hope you put post pictures on my Facebook and show me what you've done. I would love to see your color scheme on this. And uh, let me know what you think of the video. Okay, and uh, maybe tag me on your Instagram if you post it on your Instagram. Okay. So thanks for watching guys. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye!